Hello friends, this is Shia Sky. This video is recorded to do some simple tests to display some abnormal working scenarios and figure out what may result in these abnormal scenarios. On this Shia Sky Micro Brushless DC water pump, DC60G 24120 S model. Okay, so it's the topic of this pump, small test and debugging. Micro brush it is DC water pump. Okay, regarding this micro brush it is DC water pump, as we can see, the rated voltage of this pump is 24 watts DC and rated power consumption of this pump is 120 watts. So the working current, rated working current of this pump is 5 amps. The parameters is just marked here. Okay, 5 amps. So from respect of power supply, to this pump. First, it must be the machine DC power supply, cannot be AC power supply. Okay. Then second, it can be machine DC battery or AC DC power adapter or other types of DC power modules. But make sure the power supply can be powerful enough to offer sufficient power to run this pump. If it happens to be a power supply that is with less powerful output capacity, the pump will not run continuously and it will be abnormal. Yeah. For example, if it is the AC DC power adapter to run this pump with just the output capacity be 24 volts DC output, of course, and the output current capacity be at least 6 amps. Of course, more recommend to be over 7 amps to offer sufficient power to run this pump. Instead, if it happens to be a less powerful power supply, for example, this one is just with 24 volts, 1.5 amps output capacity, 36 watts output power consumption capacity, this power supply is obviously insufficient to offer sufficient power to run this pump. And then we will see what it will happen when being powered by this less powerful power supply. Okay, let's talk about the simple water plumbing test bench in this video. This is the pump as a whole, pump body parts, control box parts, the brain part to the whole plumbing system when the installation in our system. This part be recommended to be placed at some dry and low temperature location. This is a power cord, DC head, inside positive, outside negative. DC 24 volts. Okay, this is the bucket of water. I already get a bucket of water since it is for water pumping. And here, it is a less powerful, obviously less powerful power supply to do the abnormal test. And then we will use another power supply to indicate the real parameters of this pump. Okay. The voltage display, the current display, and the power consumption display. Okay, that's the whole about this simple test bench. And now we place this pump body on the water. And first, yeah. And then we can plug to this obviously smaller and insufficient power supply and see what will happen to this pump and also to the power supply. Okay, DC head. DC head, let's plug them. As we can see, the indicator will flash. Namely, the power cannot be enough to offer sufficient power. And then let's watch what the pump will perform. It turns discontinuous. Yeah, less power is injected into the pump, so it cannot work normally and continuously. In the meantime, the power supply itself is always overloaded, and it could easily kill this power supply. Yeah. And then, I will get this pump out of water. Yeah. And we will power it with the machine, with the machine. DC power supply to, to see its real performance of this pump 
in the dry run scenario and also in the normal water pumping scenario. Okay, let's get this less powerful power supply away and let's plug it to our sufficient power supply, matching power supply with indicators. First, I will show the dry run protection mechanism. Now, this pump is without water. The rotor side within will dry run. The friction and heat generation will be intensified in this abnormal working scenario of dry run. And our pump is automatically triggered with the dry run protection mechanism as being introduced. It will not continuously run, but run for a short while and then stop, run for a short while and then stop. Okay, this is the automatic triggeration of the dry run protection to the pump to protect it from the over friction and overheat in this abnormal scenario, regardless whether this pump is connected in the system or just a simple independent test. In the meantime, we check the parameter. When the dry run protection is triggered, the power consumption is just 0.3 watts, very, very little. And when the pump runs in the dry run scenario for a short while, the power consumption turns about 8 watts, right? 8.5 watts. Okay, this is the dry run, and dry run must be avoided as, soon, as possible as we can. Yeah, because it is negative to the pump's reliability and lifespan in the long term running. And then we place this pump into water to inspect its real water pumping performance. Okay, place it under water. Seconds delay will exist. Let's inspect the parameters. The power consumption about 120 watts, the working current about 5 amps, and the voltage 24 watts DC. Let's build the continuous running and also the noise class. Very low noise and continuous full speed running when the power supply is okay and when there exists a sufficient water inflow. Okay, let's inspect the pump turning from full speed running to the dry run and dry run protection. Get this pump out of water. This is the simulation of dry run. And the protection will be triggered. As we can see, it will turn discontinuous running. But it's unlike the pump when it is powered by the insufficient power supply, a different scenario. The dry run protection is now triggered. Actually, we can feel the noise is a bit sharper. Actually, the friction is also intensified in this abnormal scenario. We place this pump into water again to inspect its turning, status turning. Seconds delay. When pump is with the sufficient water inflow, and it is powered by the matching DC power supply. Its work performance is like this. No noise, continuous. And this is dry run. Yeah. Actually, our pump works by the high speed rotation of impeller within, so it cannot suck the water from low location to higher. No matter whether it is for land use, land installation, or whether it is some multiple installation, 
make sure that the water flow can activity and sufficiently power into inlet cavity of the pump. Yeah, it is a important premise to this pump's working mechanism. We place the pump into water again. Second delay exists for the status change. Okay, let's make a brief summarize, summarization. Okay, sufficient power supply is a premise and also avoids the dry run. Yeah, and thank you for your time.